welcome to my Miraculous Wig and Makeup Tutorial. Let's start with the wig. This one is from our Miraculous sponsor, Epic Cosplay Wigs. It's Hestia in Ladybug Blue, and by Ladybug Blue, I mean Midnight Blue. Alright, so I'm going to start this tutorial out with an apology. A few apologies, actually. Apology 1. I don't like this show and are doing this by popular demand. But yo, Ladybug Girl is very cute, so why not? Apology 2. I cannot say her name to save my life. I've watched a ton of compilation videos and just for some reason my brain's like, no. So I'm sorry, Marinette, Marionette, Marinette. Marie Antoinette, if that, whatever your name is, I'm sorry, and I'm also sorry to the entire country of France because I'm just horribly mispronouncing this. Anyways, Marionette's, Marionette's hair is really adorable and very 3D animated with a side part thick bangs with a little sideburn hairs and two bulbous pigtails that look more like eggs than pigtails. If you're a fan of Jonathan, my secret love child, and wig head, I also owe you an apology, for I styled this wig all on my own head. Mayonnaise's hair is very easy to style, and I start by brushing out the wig to fully get an idea of what I'm working with, which is a very lustrous wig. Then I section off her little sideburn bang things. Next, I part the remaining hair down the middle and tie it off into two ponytails, pigtails, whatever you call them, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that you secure them tightly with a hair tie. When you're fighting whatever it is she fights as a ladybug, you don't want your pigtails coming undone. Flat iron the curls out of the sideburn things. Use your chin as either a point of measurement or a fulcrum, it's up to you, to cut the desired length of your sideburn things. Shape up the sideburns by thinning them out and making the ends not look so blunt cut. Be a little sad you don't have a sword to Mulan style cut off the hair for your pigtail length, but settle for a pair of $1 scissors you got from Daiso. Monet's hair is around her collarbone or even a little shorter. I chose to cut it at my collarbone. So this wig just kind of assumed the natural shape of her pigtails when I cut it, so I just kind of shaped it up a bit to further get the shape so that it's a rounded shape, 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 shape. Then you're done, no joke. This wig was crazy easy to style since when I cut the curls off, they naturally did that little knob shape thing uh, that I wanted to do. If you want, you can tease them up a bit more or mold them into an egg shape, but I was really happy with how they looked and stopped here. Now to the makeup tutorial. Start by priming your face and then applying your favorite foundation and concealer. For Mari's makeup look, we are going to try to replicate her cute, doll-like, cute AF aesthetic. To start to get that look, we're going to go right into the eyes, applying a light neutral base that's a shade or two lighter than your skin tone. This will brighten up your eyes. I apologize again, the lighting wasn't the greatest the day I filmed this and the clouds kept creating inconsistent lighting. But after your base, begin to carve in her eye shape by shading in your socket with a lightly darker shade and blending with a clean brush or your base shade. Tightline your entire waterline with black eyeliner. Mari has huge eyes that are heavily animated with what looks like black eyeliner that's focused on her outer eyes. Go back to your outer eyes to thicken the liners to replicate her eye shape. To further get that round large eye shape, I use dark brown eyeshadow on my outer corners to emphasize that area of my eye. With a slightly darker nude shade eyeshadow, I shade my outer crease to blend the eyeshadow eyeliner to the rest of my makeup. Hate what you did and remove the eyeshadow with a makeup wipe. So I went back and did the same things I previously did but with whiter and more pinkish orangish tones in my eyeshadows. I did this because it fits my skin tone best and I felt it matched how she looks better. If you need to adjust your eyeshadow color, shades, or methods of contouring, please don't shy away from doing anything that fits you best. Whatever you do, be sure to pull down those darker outer shades to the outer part of your bottom lash line to continue contouring your eyes to mirror Mari's eye shape. Then, pack on some super light pink shimmer eyeshadow. This felt cute and playful and in line with her character. Apply some mascara to your upper lashes favoring the outer corners. Apply mascara to your lower lash line. Decide you need some more contour to that area and add in some more shading with one of your darker eyeshadows. Put in false lashes. These are super little, very natural ones. I was blessed with short, sad, blonde eyelashes. So 
I need to boost my lash game. If you want to add lashes, go for it, but Mari seems like a chill cutie, so you're good without them too. For her brows, I'm replicating her high arch shape by drawing mine on like hers with a dark blue eyeshadow. Feel free to adjust the shape or color to your preferences. Contour if you wish, I contoured a little around the bridge of my nose to further mirror her face shape. For her lips, I'm drawing on her lip shape with a lip liner and filling in the new lip shape with the liner as well. I went over the new shape with the colored gloss. Her lip color ranges from a nude to a pale pink. I went for a neutral pink. Mari is cute and seems very flustered from the compilation videos of Miraculous Ladybug that I watched, so apply some blush to replicate that. I'm putting it on my cheeks, tip of my nose, and around my lips. Then to continue to feed the cosmetic lie that I look like Mari, I put some highlighter on the tip of my nose, above the blush on my cheeks, and by my lips. I also put it on my jawline to help my face not look as gaunt. Put in some ladybug earrings. These are actually my first earrings ever. My ears were pierced with them when I was like five. Put on that wig you just dialed and you're done. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. A huge thanks to our sponsor, Epic Cosplay Wigs, for providing this amazing wig. Also, thank you to Rachel, aka Spotty, for the showcase video and putting up with my bad endeavor jokes in this cosplay because for some reason I thought it'd be really funny to make this dumb crack AU that Mari is uh, Endeavor's number one fan. And by Endeavor, I mean Endeavor from My Hero Academia. It was really annoying, I imagine. I'm sorry. Anyways, you guys have been asking for Miraculous Ladybug content for a while now, and while I'm not a fan of the show or really have any interest in doing sketches or other video content, creating her look was a lot of fun. She has a really cute design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if there's any other makeup or wig tutorials you'd like to see in the future, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you use either of these tutorials to look like your favorite crime-fighting bug, please tag me on whatever social media you are using. Thanks so much again, everyone. Your love and support means the world. Until next time. Bye!